product, price, promotion, place, and people. These are the five areas that you need to make decisions about in marketing. So I interned at HVAC Marketing Success, which is basically Matthew Rupp Consulting. And here's the Matthew Rupp building. So it's an old apartment complex, but um, there's multiple companies within that building. So it's kind of a maze to get through. My first day, it was really hard for me to find where um, they were located. I was calling Miss Burkamp to see where it was at. And I just kind of walked in and went room to room <laughs> to try to find them. And so it is located on Ridge and 13th. So it's about 25 minutes away from here, which isn't bad at all. And here's the uh, team. So this is Matthew Rupp, the founder of Matthew Rupp Consulting. And it was founded in 2010, so it's been about 12 years. And he got a bachelor's of business marketing at WSU. and. He's a passionate entrepreneur who loves the challenge to start a new business, something that he's done successfully four times over the past 20 years. So he has constantly founded new companies and then he sells them and he's made a lot of money off of that. And he owned Big Sky Party Rentals. I don't know if anyone's familiar with that, but um, he got ripped off like many small businesses do when it comes to marketing their business and getting the word out. And he took matters into his own hands and spent 18 months learning, reading, testing to see what kind of con connections he can make with uh, the promotions. And during this time, he got Big Sky in the top three on Google for 95 different keywords. So for Google, you want their trust and each keyword like business, will make your company pop up to the number one search on Google and you want that to get your company promoted. And then Stephanie, she's the content creator or the multimedia marketing prof professional. She got her communications in radio and TV at the University of Southern Indiana. So she's not from around here. She's not really familiar with Kansas still, but um, she didn't know she was gonna go into content creating until later in her life after she already got her degree. And Brittany, she is originally from Cheney, so she went to Cheney High School, so she's around here and she is a, an executive administration assistant for the purchasing, purchasing and statistics. And she got her marketing and management at WSU and she has been working there since December 2021, so she's pretty new to the company. Just kind of like me she's just starting out so that was cool to see her get used to everything just like me and then here's Matthew's um, picture he usually advertises on Facebook or Instagram stuff like that and it shows what he could do for your company so like website development they create from scratch websites product project management managing your website the um, each category, graphic design, which is what uh, Stephanie does and what I got to experience. Social media, they control each social media platform like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and more. And then content, C -E -S -C -O, it's more just posting their content and having that scheduled monthly. And then Google Ads, Google is the most important thing to get your trust from because if you look up business marketing, hiring, and your company is like two pages down that you can't advertise your company if it's that low. So you have to learn how you can get that higher. So their mission, when they first contact a company and the company wants to work with them, they um, ask them, what their story is, how long they've been working, just getting to know that company, and they learn their wants and needs for their website and what they are expecting for that. And then second is the content. This is where you create their website from scratch, either using a template or even coding. 
and they're enhancing their service pages and they're creating blogs and improving their overall site performance. And then creative, they're going into detail on their website. So the font, the color, um, the templates, all of that just to make it appealing to the eye. And then technical, they're making more improvements. Keeping their website fast, this is one of the most important things because if you get on a website and it's being really slow and just not overall working, you don't want to be on that website and try to have it load. You want it quick and fast to keep your uh, customer's attention span. And then the big picture, it's to stay on top of the industry trends. So it's making sure your website hasn't fallen behind all the other websites and to provide new promotional ideas to keep your business on top. So this slide is the content I made some of them. So we would, I would create national day posts. So I usually use Canva or Adobe and Adobe was pretty new to me, but Canva I was really familiar with. So like national dog day, uh, national sugar cookie day. And I made a lot of like Thanksgiving posts, Christmas posts, and they will schedule these on a computer and it will automatically post on all their social medias. So that was pretty cool to make um, and to be a part of that and I'll eventually get posted on the HVAC company's websites. And I also got to graph data. So I would record positive rates for each of the company's websites. I would go to their like reviews on this website and it would say 20 more people viewed your website this month or you got 15 more clicks on your about page and I recorded all the positive outcomes of that so that was pretty cool to see actually the inside of it and then I would also create Adobe videos to advertise a sale that month for the company so it could be like an air conditioner or something like that for the HVAC company so that was pretty cool to create a sale and promotion for that and then I would I also researched YouTube videos of HVAC companies and we would contact them to see if they would advertise Matthew Rowe Consulting and then we would also do that with podcasts so if there was an HVAC podcast we would contact those people so I spent many weeks researching all those podcasts and YouTube videos and I also would go to their Facebook groups that Matthew Ruff was a part of and I would go through each personal account and see if they were working for an HVAC company or if they owned it so and I would record those and we would create almost ads to pop up on their feed on Facebook to promote Matthew Rupp to get them to click on that and to hire us and then for my college plans, since this internship really opened up my eyes about what I really wanted to do, and when I would create those uh, content and the posts and the websites, I really knew I wanted to go through a visual media design program and like graphic design and marketing, and I'm going to be going to Hutch for about two years, and I don't need much schooling after that. I think I'll just be on my own and working for a company because they don't really care how much schooling you have, they just care about the content you're creating, which I, I think that's very reasonable and I think that's pretty cool. Slide seven, my memorable day at my internship was probably when we went and ate at Angry Elephant. I've never eaten there before and Matthew was kind enough to take us out to eat for one of my last days and it was really good. Um, I got a a plate of food. It was pretty spicy, but I I managed through it, but I highly recommend going here. It was really good. And here's the ultimate shake. Fortunately, I didn't get it, but next time I go there, I'll get that. And then I'd like to thank Ms. Burkham for this opportunity that I got for this internship because I never liked anything before and this gave me the opportunity to learn what I actually loved instead of just doing something for the rest of my life that I didn't like. So I'm gr very grateful that I got to learn that and get the opportunity. And then I'd like to thank 
Matthew, Stephanie, and Brittany for just taking time out of their day to help me and learn uh, what I really wanted to do. And yep, thank you.